What's up guys? I'm coming back at you with another pickup video. Um, this week is pretty much all quality stuff. There's not one thing in here that isn't a really good pickup, at least in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and uh, jump right into it. The first pickup is um, something I got at our local plan trade, the one that's like two seconds away from uh, where I live. I hopped in there the other day, hopped in there, <laughs> hopped right in there the other day and um, saw this game and it's one I needed for my collection and I've been wanting it for a while but I didn't really want to pay too much for it. Um, and it was marked at like $4.16 so I thought that was pretty fair and it's uh, Spyro the Dragon. I played these games um, a little bit when I was younger. And I always liked them. I thought they were fun. Um, so it's cool to finally add this one to the collection. I don't know how many Spyro games are on the PS1. I know there's a couple, but uh, this was definitely the first one I had to pick up. So very cool on that. Um, the second thing was, this is actually my second copy of this game, but it's a different variation, um, which I actually needed. And uh, my friend Jason Wells actually uh, told me that there was a copy of this in my area. And so I went ahead and just jumped on it immediately, and I was hoping it was the variation that I needed, and it was, so that ended up uh, working out perfectly. And it's Madden 13 for the Wii, and I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but this one actually has like a holographic jersey. Um, maybe you can see it. There's just like the regular jersey version, and then there's the holographic jersey. I think the holographic's a little bit more uncommon. Um, so now I have both variations, which I'm very ecstatic about. And this one's in pretty good shape. Um, the disc has a couple of light surface scratches, but nothing too horrifying. So, uh, yeah, it was very cool to get that one. And then I think uh, I ended up getting this for, like, 20 bucks. So, good deal on that, I think. I'm sorry if the lighting's kind of bad. Um, it's nighttime outside right now. So, um, there wasn't a whole lot of good lighting choices for me. So, if this video's dark, I apologize. But I'm it'll sorry. just be this video. Spotlight, yeah. I'm trying to spotlight. <laughs> It'll just be this video, I promise, so just bear with me. Um, next couple of things. That pile is good, so I'll save that for last. Um, I got this from Retro Rewinder. I saw that he had an extra copy of it, and I, I don't really have a lot of stuff to, for trade right now, so I was like, hey, like, would you just sell it to me? Um, and he was like, yeah, so he offered me a great price on it, and I was um, very happy to uh, buy it from him because it was significantly cheaper than... Um, what it goes for online and what I'd be willing to pay for it. It was pretty much spot on on what I would pay for this game. And I'm fine. I'm really happy to have it. Um, I played it a lot with the kids that I babysit, so it always reminds me of them. And it's a really fun game, and it's uh, Luigi's, Man a Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. And it is complete and in pretty nice shape. So I'm very happy to cross this one off the list. This one, this game has probably been... Um, one of my like most plagued games like a game that's just haunted me that I needed to get forever and I just like never could find it or never um saw it at a good price and so it's very nice to be able to cross this one off my list I'm really noticing the bad lighting so I'm really sorry I apologize but hey what can you do all right um this was actually a totally unexpected find um I was at our local exchange and I think I've mentioned it before, but they've actually been pricing their games fairly high lately. Um, I used to be able to get great deals there, and now it's like I get a deal every, maybe every month or longer than that. Um, so I was very pleasantly surprised to see this. And normally I don't um, really look at this type of stuff, but for some reason, this one day I just decided to do it. And um, it is an original Game Boy game. It's complete in the box, and it was only $5. And I was shocked when I saw that. And it's a game I've actually wanted because I've never um, owned it or played it in the past. And so I was happy to pick it up, especially for 5 bucks. And it's uh, TMNT Follow the Foot Clan for the original Game Boy. And it is in very, very nice condition. Um, this is my actually my very first um, complete in box Game Boy game. And most people don't even know, but I do collect for the original Game Boy. Um, I just don't really go out of my way to collect for it. Um, I kind of just buy the games as they come to me. Um, and this one kind of just fell right into my lap, so I had to, uh, had to go and buy it. And for five bucks, I mean, it has everything in here. It has, like, um, I think there's, like, a warranty card or whatever. There's, like, the manual, like, the precautions guide, um, some random thing, and, uh, the insert in the game with the case. And, yeah, I was very happy to pick this up for five bucks. I mean... I think that that was definitely a mistake on their part for pricing it at five bucks. So very, very excited about that one. Um, the next two items, um, both games on my most wanted list. Um, so that was very cool. Um, some guy on one of the Facebook groups was selling like a bunch of his um, old games, his old stock and whatnot. 
And um, he had two games that I really, really wanted. And um, I knew that I was just going to bite the bullet. And I think I ended up paying, like, pretty much right on retail for both of these. But I was fine with it. I think it was, like, 70 bucks for both of these. It might have been a little bit less. I haggled with them a little bit on shipping. Um, but it was around that, around that price. Um, and the first game... It was kind of added to my most wanted list. I don't know if in the video that I did um, that I set, stated all my most wanted games. I can't remember if this was on the list or not, but um, I definitely added it later. And it's uh, Kid Icarus for the NES. I was actually looking for this game um, at MAGFest um, pretty actively, but I just, everyone wanted like a really high prices for it and I just wasn't willing to pay it. And um, so I just decided to buy it from this guy because I knew it was in nice shape. So I'm very happy to get this one. I'm looking forward to playing it. Um, it definitely makes me happy to finally own it. And it's not a game that I see particularly often, so very cool. And then this game I was so excited to have. Um, I actually already own it, um, cart only, but I wanted a complete in box because it's one of my favorite games of all time, and, um, so I'll probably just get rid of my loose cart. The box is in okay shape, but it has every other possible insert. The manual's in good shape. Um, it's got, like, the plastic baggie and the dust cover, um, for the game, the cart is in good shape, all the extra card warranty, all that crap. So I have all of it, and, uh, this was actually a card upgrade for me, too, so that was nice. And it's, um, Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. And I'm sorry if there's a little bit of a glare, I got a box protector on it. But yeah, this is one of my favorite games of all time. As you can see, there's kind of some, like, looks like water damage almost on there, and, uh, some stuff on the back. Yeah, there's, like, a little bit of, like, weird white marks there and there. Um, if you guys can see that. So I'll probably be looking for a box upgrade in the future. But um, for now, this will definitely do. And I'm, I'm very happy to have this game complete in box. And like I've said, I'm really trying to up my uh, Super Nintendo collection since uh, that's my goal this year. So yeah, very happy to get that one. Alright, then these couple things I'm actually very excited to show. Um, my friend Jason Wells, who I mention pretty much every video now because he's my favorite person to buy from um, messaged me and told me he had some games that I wanted, um, that were on my most wanted list, and so, I was like, all right, what do you got, and he told me, and again, he offered me an amazing price, um, because he is amazing, um, and I just bought him, and I was very, very excited, I was, like, counting down the seconds till I was actually gonna open this package, because I was so excited, um, the first thing I'll show is an extra he threw in, um, which I was very excited about, um, we briefly talked about it, but I didn't, I wanted to buy it from him, but I don't have this system, so I didn't really see, like, a huge logical need to do it, um, but it's a copy of Dragon Ball Z for the Super Famicom, and I don't own a Super Famicom, um, maybe I will one day if I can ever find one for a cheap price, uh, but as you guys know, I love Dragon Ball Z, so it was very cool for, uh, him to include this in the package, so thank you so much for that. Um, next game, I was really, really thrilled to get this one, too, um, it is a game that I've wanted to play for a really long time, I just never... Came across it for a good price, and then Jason offered it to me for a very good price, um, so I had to jump on it. And it's a Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And I'm a little bit disappointed because, from what I've heard, this game doesn't play on the Superboy, and I don't have my Super Nintendo with me at school. I just have my Superboy, just because it's too much work to lug around, like, all these systems and everything. So I just decided I'd go to school with my Superboy, but this game doesn't work on there. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, my roommate's cheering because she bought me my Superboy. So, um, I'll put her in a video, I promise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm a little bit disappointed that this one, uh, doesn't play on it. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm sure I'll get around to it eventually, but I'm happy to own it. So, thank you so much again for that one. And then the pinnacle of this video. I'm, like, building it up to be something so amazing. It's, like, I'm sure everyone watching this video has this game, but I don't have this game. And it's, um, one that I wanted for, like, the longest time. My roommate can even attest to it. Um, I never shut up about wanting this game because I just know that, <laughs> she's laughing at me right now, I just know that as soon as I play it, I'm gonna love it because it's, like, my style of game. It's, like, super crude humor, just absolutely ridiculous, um, from what I've heard. And so Jason said he had a really clean copy of the game and, um, actually the, like, guide for it. So that was really cool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show it. And it is, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day here for the N64. And like I said, the cart is in pristine condition, really, really nice. I was very happy about that. This was also a game I was actively pursuing at MAGFest. I was trying to get a complete in box copy, 
Um, but the ones I was seeing there, they were either overpriced or just they weren't in the perfect condition that I wanted. As you guys know, I'm a huge stickler about that. And um, I just didn't want to bite the bullet. So I, I'm going to try to piece this one out a little bit. Maybe now that I have the cart, try to get um, the manual and all the other like <coughs> instruction shit. And then maybe eventually get a box. It's all right. I'm not offended. Um, so again, here's the cart. Very, very excited about that. And then, like I said, he uh, also told me he had a copy of the player's guide. So that was awesome. And it's in really nice shape, too. So, again, props to Jason Wells. He keeps hooking me up with uh, all the games that I've had on my most wanted list. So, hey, you know, I actually also have another package coming from him, um, hopefully this week. So, I'm excited about that. All right, guys. <laughs> what? I said, oh, wait, we can't play it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my N64 basically, like, shit out the other day. So, I'm hoping it'll, you know, magically start up again, but we'll see. And it's my orange N64, so that really sucks, but this video is kind of getting all over the place, so I'm just going to stop talking right now. <laughs> and it's okay. Um, I'm just going to stop talking right now, just wrap it on up. Um, thank you so much for the subscribers. I'm almost at 600. That's really crazy. Um, so, like this video, comment, um, let me know what you think about the stuff that I picked up this week, whatnot. Alright, um, have a good week guys, and next week I'm going to show a, a little collaboration, not really a collaboration, like a little video that I did of my trip to Columbus and stuff that I picked up. It's kind of cool, it's kind of weird, I edited it all out, so hey, that's awesome. Alright guys, talk to you later.